Okay, we're going to do this question as a non-calculator. So this one, if it were to appear, would appear on a non-calculator part of your exam, both A and B. So how do we go about solving starting with A? So in A, we've got 7 plus 2 sine x equals 4 sine x plus 5 between negative 360 and 0. So again, what we're going to sort of do as a general thing, we're going to solve between 0 and 2 pi first, then look at the domain that they've given us and adjust things, whether it's all real numbers or whether in this case it's between negative 360 and 0. The fact that it gives us our answers in degrees or gives our domain in degrees, we're going to solve this one thinking in degrees. So if I do some combining of like terms, if I move the 5 over to this side and the 2 sine x over to this side, I'm going to get 2 sine x equals 2. And if I divide everything by 2, can you see that you'll get sine x equals 1? Is that on your pie plate? Yes. yes. When is the y coordinate equal to 1? Uh, at 90 degrees, right? But it's at 270, it would be negative 1. So we're thinking only in degrees, and the only answer between 0 and 2 pi would be 90 degrees. So we solve it first between 0 and 360 degrees, or 0 and 2 pi. We're dealing in degrees here. Now we go and see what was our domain actually asking from negative 360 to 0. So we know on our unit circle that one solution is here. That's 90 degrees in that direction, but that's not the domain they're looking for. They're looking from 0 to negative 360. So if you were going back in this direction, what would that angle be? So let's put this one out, and the actual answer to this question is negative 270 degrees. Now, if you were asked for the general solution, because it says then write the general solution, the way that we wrote out one of the ways to find your general solution is to find all of your solutions between 0 and 360 or 0 and 2 pi and then add 2k pi, but this is degrees now, so then we're going to add k times 360 to each of our answers. So how many answers did we have between 0 and 360? Just one. So the general solution will be 90 degrees plus 360 times k, or k times 360, where k is an integer. k is any integer, because what it's saying is we can add or subtract 360 as many times as we want, because then we'll always end with an angle that's coterminal with 90 degrees. So there's a, we first were able to solve it between 0 and 360, we used that answer to help us solve between negative 360 and 0. Then we are able to write the general solution by taking our answer between 0 and 360 and adding 360 times k as many times as we want. B is similar, but now we're dealing in radians. And in B, let's start a new page here. In B, do you see that we also have a multi-revolution question? We've got a cos 3x. So, if our domain for x is between negative 2 pi and 0, where will 3x appear? Between negative 6 pi and 0. Oh, there's no equal on the 0 part. So we start. Cos 3x equals negative 1. Is cos ever equal to negative 1? From 0 to 2 pi, how many times? Once. 
It only happens at your x coordinate. It only happens at pi. So again, I start by thinking of my answer from 0 to 2 pi, and I get pi. But now what if I want? Which answers do I want to solve for for 3x? I want to solve between negative 6 pi and 0. Is pi in between negative 6 pi and 0? No, because this would be only be negative answers. So this isn't actually one of our answers. What will be our answers? Negative pi will be 1. Is that the only one? Well, let's, let's draw a little unit circle here. We know that pi was our answer between 0 and 2 pi, but that's not in our, we're looking between negative 6 pi and 0. And we already said this one, which was negative pi. What will be the next one? You'd have to keep going, right? What will that one be? Negative 3 pi. So our second one will be negative 3 pi. Is that it? And negative 5 pi. Then, if we divide by 3 on each of these, we'll get x is equal to negative pi over 3. Negative 3 pi over 3 divided by 3 will just be negative pi and negative 5 pi over 3. And those will be all the answers from 0 to negative 2 pi. So that's in the domain from negative 2 pi to 0. But this question also said, use algebra to determine the general solution. So the general solution, normally you find all your answers between 0 and 2 pi. And then you add 2k pi to them. Where are these answers? Let's just draw these negative angles on our unit circle to picture them. Would you agree negative pi over 3 is right here? Negative pi is right there. And negative 5 pi over 3 would be like going into quadrant 4 if it was positive. So if I'm going in the other direction, that would be there. Yes? So. If we wanted to list those between 0 and 2 pi, that would be pi, pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Are you okay with that? So our picture, we've got a pi over 3 member in quadrant 1, that's pi over 3. We've got our pi over 3 member in quadrant 4, that's 5 pi over 3, and we've got pi. So our general solution, list all of your answers between 0 and 2 pi. And add 2k pi. This is, well, these are the answers between 0 and 2 pi. It would not have been wrong to use the answers between 0 and negative 2 pi and add 2k pi to them, because they're the same angles, right? Basically, what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to say, I want this one and everything coterminal with it. So what I've written as my answer, I'm using the positive angle here, pi over 3. When I add 2k pi to that, that includes negative 5 pi over 3. I could have, if I wanted to, have started with the negative 5 pi over 3 there, because it ends in the same place, and added 2k pi to that. Just like with pi, we could have started with negative pi and added 2k pi to that. And we could have started with negative pi over 3 instead of 5 pi over 3. I sort of wanted to follow our instructions before, which were 
Now let's find our answers between 0 and 2 pi for the general solution and add 2k pi to it. But it doesn't mean that you couldn't have any coterminal angle here as a starting point. Oh, yeah, the questions that you can do here are 4, 8, and 9. 